In this video, we are going to walk through how to use the Pear Deck Google Classroom add-on. So first, we're going to access Google Classroom, and you'll also want to create your Pear Deck lesson in advance. So we're going to create an assignment here, and then over on the right under add-ons, we'll see the Pear Deck Google Classroom option, and it will bring up the two options here to assign a lesson. You can either create one from this window, or the easier option is to choose one that you've already created. So in Google Drive, create a Pear Deck activity for your students, then click that option, select it from the menu that comes up, and then it will automatically bring it up here in student paste mode so that you can confirm that lesson is the one that you want to attach to this assignment. So you'll see that here, it's automatically going to be in student paste mode for the Pear Deck Google Classroom add-on. So when we click confirm lesson in the lower right, this will attach to this lesson for students. So we'll see that appear here and it will have the grade sync applied. So you can change it to an ungraded assignment in the upper right. You can also change the point value for that assignment. And then it will let you know that the grade sync only applies to the first attachment. Um, so if you did add any supplemental resources to this, it, the grade sync wouldn't apply to that. Um, so now we have our Pear Deck attached here. You can um, check out any of the features. You can learn more by clicking on the eye icon to the right of the um, Pear Deck option under add-ons. And if you don't already have that add-on, you can click on the three dots in the upper right and you can add the Pear Deck option from the add-on marketplace. So now we are adding in instructions for this assignment and we're ready to push it out to students. So we're gonna click assign in the upper right. And now we're gonna pop over into the student view and see what that looks like. So here's the student view. We're gonna click view instructions and we can see in the upper right, students can click on this to open the Pear Deck automatically within the Google Classroom window. So they can go through and navigate the full Pear Deck activity. It stays in the classroom.google.com domain. So it's nice for monitoring and they can fully interact with the Pear Deck from this window so they can enter their answers and move on. And the turn in button, just like any other Google Classroom assignment, is in the upper right. So it's more like their other workflow. They're used to that turn in button. Another great feature is the immersive reader option is built into Pear Deck assignments. So students can click on that icon in the lower right and have the text read aloud or translated from the slide in that Pear Deck um, activity. So when they are done, they can click the turn in button in the upper right. They can navigate through, use all of the different types of slide types. So we've seen the text type. Here is a draw slide type. They can use the text box option. They can draw directly on the slide. They can edit the text once it's on the slide. So here we're typing and then noticing that you can't really see that. So we're going to change the color and move it to a different location. So all the things that you would do normally in Pear Deck. Here we are turning it in and now we're going to go back to the teacher side and we're actually going to pop into a completed Pear Deck assignment that is um, a different option. So we're going to click review work and open that up and it automatically pulls in the reflect and review um, window in the Google Classroom grading options. So here we have a different slide that has been fully um, completed by the uh, student and you can scroll through and see where they have in interacted with the slide. You can click the leave feedback button in the upper right. This is how you can leave those comments for students to see. They'd be able to open up the the link when you return the assignment and see that within the Pear Deck. So you can access that by clicking the review work button on the assignment or by opening up the student work uh, window like here and clicking on the individual student um, option. So again, when you create an assignment, access the Pear Deck for Google Classroom add-on to fully embed a Pear Deck activity into your Google Classroom assignment to streamline that workflow for both you and your students.